What's up again there guys, Brian here at 3TR, and as I'm sure you can see, I am back here at home, and boy do I have a lot of content to get up over the next two weeks. But heck, we gotta start off with the good stuff, so I will be doing a two-parter collector's edition unboxing for this particular video for the collector's edition guidebook for Metal Gear Solid V Phantom Pain and the game itself. So, let's get started. Um, I'm actually kind of excited about this because when it comes to collector edition uh, guidebooks, especially for uh, Metal Gear, uh, they always have uh, a lot of the initial good stuff that all come, comes with all of them, and I actually have the collector's editions for both Metal Gear Solid 4 and uh, Metal Gear Rising, so I think uh, I'm pretty anxious to see what's in this particular version, but I, I gotta say, just right off the back, this book is huge! I mean, it's a heck of a lot thicker than Metal Gear Solid 4 or Horizon's guidebooks. And I think that's actually pretty neat at the back. V for victory. So, let's see. The first thing we got here is... Oh. Oh, neat. Well, first thing we got is this gigantic post... Whoa. Wow. Oh, gee, this is... Wow, this is huge. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh wow, this is even, whoa. Oh, I, I, mean, I might not be able to get this in the camera, but apparently this is like the entire map of like all the locations in the game. I like, like holy snap, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to put this on my wall somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I know I'll have to figure something out. So the first thing we got is pretty much a giant map of all of the places we'll be traveling in the game. That's pretty awesome. Next thing we got is a little lithogram, I, I can willing to guess it's what one of these are, of Big Boss, which I think goes was gonna go great alongside my uh, ride, ride in from Metal Gear Rising and old Sega from Metal Gear Solid 4, so uh, this is like the kind of thing I, I actually would like to get autographed, so I don't know, maybe if I'm at a game convention and if I, you know, hear that Hideo Kojima is actually there, I might want to keep this with me so he can sign it, so that's pretty neat. And basically just, the rest of the book is just a lot of content, and it is actually up to about 410 pages worth of awesome content, including artwork and, you know, guides to help me get through the game to make my experience with the game a lot more enjoyable, so... That's the Collect Edition Guidebook. Now, on to the main attraction. We have the Microsoft Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain Collector's Edition itself. So, you know, the only, the only thing uh, I'm, a, I'm a little bit disappointed about is that uh, us here in the States, we kind of got a, a smaller version than what they got in Japan, because I know that they, uh, the main attraction here, I know they kind of scaled it down, which you know, I'm not too upset about it, and while they got the full-size edition, which, you know, I, I would have been happy to get. So, starting off with the outside of the box, first thing we got is this... Oh, let's see what it is. It's like... Yeah, first we get this off. And... Okay. First thing we got is this little Diamond Dogs... Magnet, I'm guessing it kind of holds everything together, so that's pretty neat. And inside, we obviously have a copy of Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain, which I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to take this image, which I actually found online, which at the, a lot of people were actually encouraged to use this image instead of this one. I'm going to run down to my local store, I'm going to get it printed and put it over this because uh, it seems to be missing a pretty important name, and there's a, a certain company's name down at the bottom I don't think I want to see on this masterpiece of a game. So there's that. And then under that, we have the steel case, which is awesome because you got uh, Big Boss and Master Miller, and on the other side you have Venom Snake and the Revolver Rosalind. And inside it comes with the extras disc, which I'm sure has like tons of hours of content, which I'll be sure to check out when I got time. That's pretty awesome. And now on to the main attraction of this collection edition. And that is the half-scaled replica of the new mechanical arm that Big Boss will be using 
throughout the course of the Phantom Pain. And, you know, although I, I, I am just a little, just a little disappointed that we didn't get the full scale, this is pretty awesome too. I mean, it's the fact that it's you know, movable, you know. Live long and prosper. <laughs> so yeah, this is I don't know, just the amount of detail. You know, I can I can imagine someone who actually has lost a limb really wanting to use this as maybe their new bi bionicle arm. I mean, I would. I mean, I guess you know I I would do that. I mean, if I lost this part of my arm, I would want to get this particular prosthetic arm for me too. So yeah, that's pretty much all we got. I know there's a bunch of also DLC content in here that apparently there's some type of error going on, but hopefully they'll get it fixed by the time I start replaying this again. And that is my unboxing for both the guidebook and the collection edition itself. If you like this unboxing video, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to track me in my future videos. And like always, thank you guys for watching, you're awesome, and I will see you next time.